In order for the blood to circulate around the body, we rely on blood vessels. Vessels are like a transport networking system in a large city. The three main types are arteries, veins and capillaries. The arteries and veins are like the free-flowing highways of our body. Once on them, there is no opportunity to get off or to stop. Arteries which have thick walls are made of smooth muscle and elastic tissue, and they will always take blood away from the heart. They have the ability to contract and relax, or in technical terms, they have the ability to vasoconstrict or vasodilate. Veins, on the other hand, are made of thin, smooth muscle and will always take blood back towards the heart. Veins cannot contract, so have valves in them to stop backflow of blood and also rely on the contraction of muscle to help move the blood. The capillaries, which are the smallest of the vessels, are like residential streets. Their walls are semi-permeable, which allows for the interchange of substances between the blood and the tissues. On these residential streets, you can stop and go as you please, can park, and can take things into and out of the house. The house in this scenario being representative of the cells in the body. For example, oxygen needs to get dropped off in the muscle house so that it can combine with glucose and fat in order for energy to create muscle contraction. Once contraction is complete, there is a byproduct of carbon dioxide, and this will move back into the capillaries for it to be taken away.